2004, exactly 15 years ago, an international congress was held here at the Palais des Académies. Participants from many southern and northern countries involved in applied nutrition research we were gathered, not in this room, you can see the walls are a bit different, in another room, uh, they were gathered here. This meeting was a scientific celebration of 20 years of activity by a not-for-profit association called Nutrition Third World, Nutrition Tier Monde. Several of the speakers presenting their experience in applied nutrition research had received scientific, academic, and financial support from Nutrition Third World. Indeed, the projects were shared with the attending scientific community had been selected and sponsored by Nutrition Third World following an evaluation by an international scientific committee. This Congress made it possible to realize with great enthusiasm the quality of the applied research capacity in nutrition in the southern countries. And today, we celebrate with this new and second, as Philip said, and second meeting, the 35th anniversary of Nutrition Third World. Nutrition Third World was founded in 1984 by Dr. Yvan Beguin, professor of nutrition at the Institute of Tropical Medicine in Antwerp and a member of the Royal Academy of Overseas Sciences. Dr. Beguin, Yvan, our dear friend who sadly passed away four years ago, had started his idea from the observation that most of the research published in the field of nutrition problems located in the southern countries were carried out and signed by researchers from the northern countries. And these researches carried out by northern country researchers, however qualitative they may have been, are often far from the needs expressed by the research teams in the, in the Global South. And Yvan, Dr. Beguin, at that time, was receiving grants for research projects. His idea was to create a structure aiming to help teams of Southern scientific researchers to, de to develop, present, and publish applied research projects in the field of nutrition in their own land and according to their own needs. Nutrition Third World, NTW, was thus created. It is an independent Belgian not-for-profit association that provides financial, organizational, and academic support for applied nutrition research, conducted by local scientists and local institutions from the Global South to contribute to sustainable and inclusive global development. Nutrition Third World, NTW, aims in a short time to help research teams to organize and conduct scientific projects and to publish their results in qualitative international scientific journals. On a longer term, NTW aims to strengthen and empower nutrition research capacity, policy de development, and locally embedded initiatives that provide long-lasting solutions for nutritional problems, for socially and economically deprived populations in low- and middle-income countries. Today, after 35 years of activity, we are, and I would say, proud to look behind us. As Didier Vivier said, nearly 40 research projects were supported by Nutrition Third World. They were financed alone or in co-financing. And these projects were supported for periods ranging from one to four years. Three-fourths of the projects, as you can see, involved African countries, while the last quarter concerned countries in Asia and South America. We are pleased to share with you that these projects 
have success successfully supported nearly 30 PhD theses and published several hundreds of qualitative papers in international journals. We are also pleased to see that as a result of these projects, which acted as triggers, some of the research teams are still permanently, permanently active in their respective countries today. Some research projects funded by NTW have resulted in regional, national, or international changes regarding nutrition policy. When we look at the amount of money committed to the financing of all the projects over the 35-year period, we realize that efforts have been limited, about 1.5 million of euros, which is a relatively small amount compared to the importance of the results observed. In addition, operating costs have been very limited thanks to the generosity of our partners who have paid for some of these expenses. The Institute of Tropical Medicine in Antwerp, the University of Ghent, of course, PricewaterhouseCooper, and especially the De Grove Peterkam Bank, which hosted part of the administration of the association. Also, all members of the board of directors are purely volunteers. So the experience of NTW's activity, therefore, demonstrates a considerable and powerful leverage effect. This shows the usefulness of this, this type of support, complementary to large public organizations like Belgian Cooperation, Europe, European Union Cooperation, FAO, WHO, etc., or private organizations, of course, unfortunately, because new funding has not been found. NTW, Nutrition Third World, must now, at least temporarily, close its doors. But this Congress may allow us to think about on new opportunities for equitable partnerships and horizontal cooperation in nutrition research in the Global South. I wish you all a very interesting Congress. I thank you. <laughs>